Okay, good morning everyone. So, we will just start our class without your classmates, no? Kay kung magulatan nila, maaldang tag-alas na ibi. So, this morning, I will continue with my discussion on tour guiding. If makaya pa sa time, so, mutulok po ko niyo how to book a room using bookings.com. Because your exam on midterms will be more on making an itinerary using Travify. So, Okay naman if you're going to use some of the information that you have booked through um, Cebu Pacific and bookings.com pero if ginahan mo maghimo ra mo inyong kaugalingon nga nga tour package through Travify pwede ra um, with regards to your exam sa tour guiding so katora gurong video akong i-require no para dili na mo mabombarded with kuan pa jud no another exam Sige na, ako lang i-explain on ang details. Hopefully, everyone will join us this morning. If wala, they can just re-watch this video, no? So, no, din ako mag-record kay manganad na mo nga. Dili mo matag sa'yo para mo atan sa kong klase. Kay mulantaw na lang sa recording. Dili po na siya maayo. Kay, of course, I'll also be needing um, feedback, no? Yeah, di mo ka feedback kung recording na, no? Di mo mo ka-raise sa inyo ang concerns kung sa recording na mo mulantaw. So, di na ako mag-record para ang makamiss. O, oh. hindi sila kalantaw balik kung sa ito kong ipang story. Ah. Okay? Okay, kapoy ka ayaw magsugod tag 8.40, 8.30 man tani ato ang klase. So, before you start, let us pray first. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so good morning, everyone. So we will start first with tour guiding. So last time, no, sa kato nakaatan sa kong klase, medyo taas tato ang agi sa tour guiding, no? So there are different skills that you need in order to be an effective tour guide. Itong pilabok, no? Katong seven kabuok um, skills needed to be a world-class tour guide. So kanin siya is more on to be an effective tour guide lang locally, no? Kay, before tamo start with, or before tamo abutan ng world-class nga tour guide, ato sa tasal sa local nga na setting. So, there are different skills that you need to acquire no? in making a commentary or at the same time, be an effective tour guide. So, last time, no, na-discuss naman ito ni, first, you need to have leadership skills followed by communication skills. No, kayo, sa mga mo na mag-tour guide ka if you do not communicate with your tourist. So, under communication skills, na ang creating a platform image using void rate of speech, no, Eye contact, body language, audience. So, the third skill is listening skill. So, not be confused ha. Lahi ning, lahi ning ko ay, no? Kaning voice rate, eye contact, body language, audience. This is part of the second skill, which is communication skills. So, ang third skill is listening skills. No, niya, na, nakakita ang video on how to handle gas complaints and pinaka-core jud nga, nga skill, ana, is through listening, no? Because we, we cannot understand the sorry, concern no or ang um, um, problem ni ni tourists if we do not listen to his or her problem no or nabasay something nga gusto i erase nga concern mo so, sa to paghatag sa solution so, sa to paghatag og intervention if or sa to pagpacify ni tourists no especially if if the tourist is upset if we do not listen to our tourists so that's that's the third important skill Maad nitong usa. Okay, next is of course, research skills. No? So, we're done with um, the third skill, which is listening skill. No? Are na po tas research skills. This is important class because how can you make an effective itinerary or commentary di ay, no? or script if you cannot conduct your research. 
So, tour commentaries are planned. It doesn't mean nga, ah, just because I'm a good speaker, pwede na ko mo ag sa tour, impromptu na ako tanan. No, dili. Na na yung mga cases nga, we don't know anything about a certain destination, no, na ay something wala jud ni mo pa na discover. No, so, you need to also conduct research. So, how do we do that? No, usually, we search in the internet. No, if kulang na japon kayong gihatag information internet, we go to the library. Most especially, we find local history books. Or if that's not enough, you go to the destination yourself and ask the locals. Most especially, if that um, tourist destination is quite new, such as open sila og new nga falls or very secluded kaayo siyang nga natural attraction and it doesn't provide any information on the internet. So, you really have to go there, ask the locals nga, how did this tourist destination came to be? Okay, so, may una naka-discover ani, um, kung sa man ang updates na sa, sa LGU when comes to the development of this tourist attraction, mo na usually ang mong ipangutan, ano, para daapo kay mahatag nga information sa yung mga tourist. So again, in research skills, uh, tour commentaries are planned. And it's not all the time that when you get information, it's always from the internet. Sometimes, you ask the locals because sila man jud ang kanang nakaila, jud ang nga lugar. Not only that, uh, you go to the library. No? You, you read history books. No, For example, if you're going to have a city tour in San Carlos City and some of your destinations nga included in your itinerary are not found on the internet. No? Wala mo ko yung kitaan nga kuan, ma'am, nga about sa Alinshawan Falls, kayo, no? gamay kailan information gihatag, ma'am, and what if na ako yung mga tourist nga kuan, ka ng medyo kutikutihan, no? mo ask you dun sa ang background and Hindi ko ginahan nga, limited akong ihatag. So, you either go to the destination, no ask the locals, or if na ay mga available ng information from the LGU, like the State Tourism Office, you can ask them for a background of that destination. no Or, again, no history books from the library. So, structured and studied information carefully gathered through, through research and used as a tool to be able to effectively inform the guest. As much as possible, no? Um, when you do a tour commentary, it's like teaching, no? Dili mo ko nyo effectively if I have not studied or gathered information about what I'm going to discuss. Uh, take for example, there's a difference when I teach a subject that is quite new to me and a subject that ha that I have been studying for for a very long time. Of course, no kaning subject nga kuan jung natudluan for a very long time masking dili pa ko magtuon ana bali-balihon pa na siya kabalo na jud ko and not only that mas ma improve pa na siya every day because i do readings no unlike sa new subject i have no knowledge ab about it no whatsoever like for example like if i were to to teach philosophy or psychology which is not no my field and i know little about and at the same time I don't do readings, no? Kay I don't find it interesting. So tendency very limited ako kung mahatag ng information, no? So yan po na sa tour guide, no? If you are provided with a new destination and you know nothing about it, no? Because it's new, and you only gathered few few nga information, ana, no? Na yung tendency nga very limited ako kung mahatag ng information sa mga guests, no? Or sa mga tourists. That is why you have to do research what is it no and when you arrange your commentary class na ko gipang correctionan nga commentary paligula ko og ana to or script paligog ko og review ato so when you check your commentary no or you lay your commentary it has to be coherent na tawon mo ba nga musi ko copy paste copy paste dira na tawon mo if kan ba siya no mo connect ba siya Okay, for example, mo mo hatog information about this place, no, like the delicacy, kanus siya siya um, na discovered or ano siyang history ani, etc. Niya katagan siya paghan ay, no, libog ka ayon, no? walay coherence. Minta so, coherence class, o oh, magstart siya with an introduction, no. When was this discovered? Ano sa mga pangalan sa mga locals, no, ano sa mga ilang foundation day, etc. Or ilang mga charter day, day, sorry, no, charter day, etc. Then, abot din sa festivals din. Delek kasi, no? Kanang murag, ihan ayon din mo siya ba? Nga mo-connect siya. 
Okay, and then let them understand and appreciate the facts related to the actual sites seen along the way on running tour or walk about the tour. One of the things that um, tourists are quite keen about is not just how you deliver you know, your commentary, but also the information that you have presented to them. Even the tour guiding nga, nga competition class, masking unsa pa na ang amu ang contestant, no? Kay mojo ni ang, this is where I fall short sometimes. No, and I, I, um, no matter how good my student is when it comes to enunciating, no, no, make sure mo pronounce, no, niya dili siya koan, dili siya sobra distracting, no, kada mag sakto sakto na siyang iyang iyang stage presence, no, dili ang ka exaggerated, dili po ding anak ka lifeless, the right amount of of energy is there tana no it's almost perfect but this is where we, we often fall short usahay no natabo jan sa tay nga we were we are given a destination and what we have practiced is a, is a different destination so tendency dili na umahatag ang complete jud nga kon this destination is nice etc etc but dili jud mo mahatag ang complete information that that is why sometimes no dili may makakuan dili may maka place no Maging uban nga, ano ma, nindot mong kayo to siya. Ang uban gani, maot kay pronunciation per mo. Puti. Kahit tungod, ang katong iyang ubang contestants, kompleto man og, og information. no Kanang very detailed kaayo, kompleto, although, oh, siya to ibotang, maot siya, sila mo pronounce, etc. Pero dili naman na mo matter. No? Ang pinakadako siya, ang pinakabugat siya nga criteria na is the content no of what you're going to present. Okay, pronunciation can be corrected, no but it's the amount of kano, information that you can provide to the tourist or to the judge is really the most important part. That is why you need to do research. No, kay, mana siya. So, so ano mo nga, namik ka joker, kayo, kayo, nut kayo, kamo present, namik ka kamo story, ya, no, namik ka pronunciation, per pag abotagani sa actual na koan, mga tana ang guest. Okay, tell, tell us more about this place. So, we would like to know the history of the shrine or, or, for example, this nature park, no? Can you tell us more? Hindi ka kahatag, ana, or magsigira ka basa sa Google, no? So, it's... Ko na, Japan? Mabawi na, Japan? Hindi na, Japan ka, murag ko, an. Medyo nagkulang. So, do your research, no? That's important. Ang bitaw nga, to be honest, if I were to be strict with you, there are some scripts that I will not accept, to be honest. No, because some of you did not do your research. Some of you just copy paste from the internet, no, and it's not really that coherent. It was not properly arranged. Kailangan ng effort. Dasik lang mo submit ko ay pero I did not put my heart into it, and which is wrong, no. You should not submit half baked out because it would reflect who you are, no. Kay if you put your heart into it, I want it to be presentable because at the end of of the semester i'm still going to to use this script in my in my tour guiding video no and if if i'm just going to send half bake outputs just for the sake i will submit pero wala siya quality then that will still reflect who i am no but also i do not pr uh, i do not give low grades okay ko ayan anyway you have provided effort for it no and some of you nglisod nga sa internet pero just to be frank with you no if i were to be strict there are some scripts that I really not accept. No, kay it was not properly made. No, so let this be a lesson. No, kay puhun, um, have that ko ay no mer. Di mo siya work ethic, mer study ethic. I think no or or just this, this habit in doing your school works nga. If you're just going to to do it no and you expect nga nga you'll be satisfied with it, just give your all no. And if you do not if you do not know how, there are a lot of resources internet no on internet. No okay? that's what I usually do, you know. If I'm given a task and I do not know how to do it, usually I I I, I search the internet. No magto ko sa YouTube, malanta ko mga tutorials. Okay? Um if I'm going to rely no, to someone para tudluan ko, nya dili ko mo learn on my own, I will not grow. No okay? I I'm being dependent, no? But the more you have, like, you invest on self-discovery or you invest on 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 other things so to to enhance yourself and your skill, no, the more you will grow. So, mo na siya. And this is why it's really important, no? So, 
dilingon nga mo research lang ko ka it's a requirement it's a requirement for me to provide a commentary that is why mo mukuan lang ko oy mo mo comply lang ko pero di mo naon ba nga na po siya benefit at the end no at your end you uh, it will still benefit you because you've learned something at the same time na enhance po ka no for so gud na ning speaking no so di mo ko yung anipod ka kakuan kasi if i do not read if i do not read siguro I, my my vocabulary will be limited at the same time if i do not practice on speaking dili sad siguro ma develop ang ako apong ko ano ako ang way of speaking po so one na siya never limit yourself Okay, your industry is very demanding, no? Um, it doesn't mean that you're a good speaker enough na, na siya, no? It entails a lot of planning, management skills, leadership skills, and if you do not invest in yourself as early as now, like say, I'll develop a good study habit or I'll I'll be more responsible, no? Or I'll be uh, I'll be more serious when it comes to to my outputs and all. Then mo na siya, no? Dili should dili siya mo improve. So, muna siya ang under research skills. Okay, so next is delivery skills. In tour guiding, this is the uh this is another skill, no, used into making a commentary. So, in tour guiding, delivery of the information gathered and the research is the most challenging part of the show. Of course, no. Maski so many mo nga okay, kompleto na ko sa ano ko leadership skills, communication skills, na ano ko um listening skills research skills so ang pag-deliver na lang so it is here that the talking skills of a tour guide are being put to the test it's not the idea of being fluent in english as what i've mentioned kanina no? or any foreign language but the way you deliver the commentary how you started the tour uh, right until you finish it no kayo some nga you're very good in english you're quite fluent at it but again it's your your the coherence no dili mo connect ang imong mga gipang story ya no and sometimes di man jud na malikayan no ma side shock man jud ta mas especially if we have a lot of things to say no so and the way you also deliver no the level of energy your enthusiasm how you handle with guests so from time to time do you check on them dili lang i-correct ang story ya no or at the end of the tour do you do like a follow up no or if there are complaints they also do a follow up etc no? so mo na siya ang delivery skills no mag total package sa tanan sa mga previous skills gipang mention at mga previous pang lessons okay next is nervousness so this is not a skill ha so this is how we handle or at least guidelines lang on how to handle or counter nervousness because dili man jud na siya malikayan kas nga we always get the jitters no even i no when i have to present even kanang mo present ako sa tulo ka book tawo or for example no, during a webinar i'm going to raise a question usually i'm quite nervous no kay na may times nga i know um i can speak well if i'm comfortable this is an example of that no i am comfortable that is why musulti ko very natural ra pero once gani nga i'm intimidated or bakol ba kay matabo man na class no maskin kanang kana nang mga veterans na mga well seasoned ko ana mga speakers if if they talk into if unfamiliar crowd they would get very nervous no nya yeah. especially if they are unprepared so dili lang ingon nga ay kami ra man guru makakuan ana ma'am no from beginners to well seasoned even to veterans no they always get nervous most especially lain-lain nga mga crowds kay again in our industry dili lang ingon nga at uh, dili ra ko mostorya oy kay naanad naman ko ani nga tower ani nga kuan nga customer dili ko dili ko kuan comfortable ani mga foreigners kay na jud ko an no we cannot do that no di man ta kapili nga mag managu ra ta ini ka OJT kay mahadlok ta no kay na ay the customer nga foreigner no or kuan for example or bali no mas makulbaan ka kung na kay Filipino nga guest most especially if di kan sa Luzon kay mas strict sila if you compare it to to other ng mga nationalities no or gikan diri sa tuang nga lugar lahi ra siya kung naa sa laing um region or province no so di ba na malikayan ang ato lang is we know how to counter it kay dili man jud naingon nga no? maglikay lang ka forever no in order for you to overcome it you must face it so how do we overcome nervousness first you need to know your stuff if you are confident no that is because you know what you're doing you are prepared no 
you have already studied or kwan at least na familiarize lang nimo even in the hospitality industry no inon gani may nga mabot ra ba diri ang tag-iya kung ko pa ko sa crown mabot na ra ba diri ang tag-iya unya diri mo mag-dinner sa Wang Shanlo no kung asa ko nag already unya mo tan ra ba na siya kun sa ang ingredients unsa ang kwanan ning pagkaon nya musi ang ginapangutan ng OJT na mo din siya nga ha lagi ginatudluan sa mga kuwart so mo na kami magandam ni mi buntag pa lang daan na no gina request na mi to bring our notebooks to list down the ingredients what are the allergens how it was cooked how it was how it was prepared the i know and then is this a main dish is is this an entree a dessert an appetizer No, or is this a side dish? So muna, no? So in tour guiding, it's different, no? Once you have done your research, be prepared, no? By studying, no? Or getting to know your your destination, tour assignment, knowing the composition of the group. Dili lang ingon nga mag-focus lang po ka sa destination itself. You also need to know who are your tourists. So for example, I'm going to conduct a tour among mga koana, no? mga students. Kay koan man na siya. Kuan mo ang amo ang mga mga tourist no kay educational tour man siya sa so, kalabayan ni mga high senior high so how do i make um activities more engaging no nga kanang mo fit po silang age group so yung anak having the profile of your tourist will allow you to be confident and ready for the show and in order for you to also adapt and adjust no your activities and how you present yourself no kay tungod na kailan nakakinsa ang imuhang mga turista kay if imuhang tourist sa pod or kana to ibutang mga senior citizen or adults no i-adjust na po nimo nga, nga more mature na ang imong content no at the same time more more serious no and ko ana pod ka um at ibutang dili very rigorous no or high energy kay kalabanan na ba no especially sa kanang mga senior citizens no take your time mo ana pero kung mga bata no at ang ibutang usually koan, di may ngung eleven na to ilang energy pero at least koan lano, i make activities more engaging kaya mga bata raba no ginanjo na sila koan, maano jud ilang energy no, ma 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 utilize jud nata na ilang energy sa trip. At the same time, I think have that command no because of course it's quite difficult. Children can be unruly no, they tend to disobey rules sometimes even at young adults ba you know even mga teenagers they, they do tend to to disobey um protocols and rules sometimes so be a fun to rest no at the same time have command so anara so know your stuff next is know the place so familiarization of the site will always be an advantage for a tour guide to have enough valid up to date information about the area or sites to be visited as part of the tour itinerary in cases where the tour guide has not been in the area some interventions before the tour can be done visiting the site doing research asking colleagues and many more can be a great help so that is true no um mata ko na mention no sa research skills nga if you are not familiar with place you need to go there beforehand or have a local Um, to help you out. Kaya dili man ingod nga kuan class nga ikaw ro magto dito ikaw ro usa no. Pwede mo ka makikuyog pud sa locals or or someone that is an expert in that area. Kaya most especially if it's a nature tour and you need to familiarize asa ang mga pathways ang safe no or kanang pwede nyo agianan nga makauli ra mo dayon no makabalik mo sa kung asa mo ning agi. At the same time, you need to also familiarize us ang entrance, ang exit, no? Or especially if you're visiting a museum and it's your first time, so you need to also familiarize, no? Kaya para di mo masaag po. No? Another, para di lipon mo makakuan, like for example, no? Um, like sa koan, sa church, or sa shrine, or sa nature park, or in na ay mga places nga di lipon di ikapon, no? Or for example, ka nang di ta pwede yung ogtodira kaya it's sacred, no? Or dito po dito kay maka disturb sa na- natural habitat so you need to also familiarize that and the best way is to go to the to the site beforehand or before the tour okay okay mungsog sa ognya kalas kay oras class kung ikaw mismo pag agto nimo dito wala ka familiarize sa lugar no familiarize jud nimo ang lugar para at least na mo masaag no and you know where to go bulong kasang entrance asang exit 
So next is visualize success. So I've always been a half pessimist. No, there are times nga I don't know. I just um call this one as being koan, being practical or real. No, kay may mga times nga you need to really expect the worst, but it doesn't help with your self confidence. It doesn't boost your self confidence if you always think of the negative side. Although Um, ni siya good class. Dili pag kumapromote og toxic positivity. Unsa man yung toxic positivity? Kana ganing sa panahon positive na andro ka no, masking dili angay e positively. For example, like social issues nga magkita na ka nga nga na e problema man ka nga, ah, okay ra na oy, di lang kumukuan, just think for the best no. Nya masking mo nang time nga no, you need to be rational no. Dili sa tang panahon you need to be positive no. Person if you've seen inside inside out mo ba na siya nga salida to na as si sadness si joy si disgust no joy is actually an example of toxic positivity sa to ang okay, so joy is actually an example of toxic positivity because you're not allowing a person to feel sad or feel grief or kanang think of other things no you're not allowed to do that you have to be happy all the time dili man siya it's not always like na ay mga times nga we need to also feel other feelings no we need to also think for for other things like for example si kabalo nang kanga things can go wrong positive ra pun ka ayo ka no na dili mga times pod class nga dili ra pud ta kinahanglan nga positive all the time so i do not um I not encourage toxic positivity no kana pong nagatron like po na no it's being negative all the time it's the opposite of toxic positivity no toxic positivity is being positive all the time masking dili na siya appropriate no like for example na nay na match ano kun positive ra pun ka ayo ka ah, okay ra na siya ko an pero you need to grieve no you need to feel sad no ang ko an ang nag nag side track ko no kay this is in, in visualize success good um in ko an in being a negative no it's always thinking negative all the time so like we're opposite with toxic positivity no just be neutral kada ganing if na at times nga you feel things can go wrong and you feel very negative about it that's okay as long as you're prepared no to to handle the worst But if you feel quite positive about it because you have a very good feeling uh, nga things can go well, then it's okay to feel positive and not be negative. No, don't hinder yourself, no, from that positive feeling. So ano ra no kana be neutral. If you feel things can go wrong, just accept it. No nga ala murag dire man jud maapiki man jud ko ba or murag ko ana jud ni. No, pero even if you feel negative about it, prepare for the worst, no, and know how to pick yourself up. Person nang ala ka na murag gi-exile na ko nila sa group or I'm not included anymore. No, and I've already expected this one. So how do I expect the worst and how do I pick myself up after nga I've been rejected? Oh, ana. No, or ko ay so mo na siya class, no. Visualizing success is good, no? This is good as long as you know you are prepared. But I do not highly suggest that you need to visualize success all the time if you are not prepared and if na ay mga vaguely, for example, hala, kanang I can see myself nga successful ko sa sa kung paghatag sa tour pero naer ba mga minor setbacks? Di mo kumingon nga ah bahala na si Batman, Just be positive about it. No, how do I handle this setback? No. Expected na dyan ni Ugma nga na adyo yung mapalpak. Pero unsa man akong alternative nga buhaton para dili na siya matabo or ma-refray na siya. Or at least, di lang dyan nga na katotally dako kayong impact sa mua nga trip. That could be an, also an example. So usually, when I es- when I expect, like for example, no, mo, mo, mo participate me in a contest or koan. Sa una yung anak I have this obsession in and we need to win or at least koan lang. Pero later on, I realize nga, siguro ka na lang, expect what is expected if you have prepared then most especially siguro you will please if not then that's okay no but how do we handle no kana matabo nga maot ugma if ever it happens okay so sa inyo ha 
do not always see kay mo mugod siya class ko imo mugong iputang si mohon nga ugma mag tour na ko dapat perfect jo dapat ing aning matabo para ma successful nya wala ta kabalo basin ugma dadi na day matabo nga dili nimo ma expect no naman jo na yung mga anak cases class how do you prepare for it so yan ra don't just visualize success be ready no kung say matabo positive or or not you have to be really ready so mo na siya kay mo mong gani class ko imo ko i-visualize mong ko galingon nga ugma will be a very successful day etc etc ya once pag abot sa ugma na di mong butang nga di mong makontrol out of your control and very unexpected mo disappoint ka la you'll be very hard on yourself no nga la mauta eh ka nang expect ra batani ko nga ma successful ro ni mahilak na lang kanu kay expect jud ko nga ma successful jud ta ang trip karon ang tour nya naaman di ay mga butang nga di nako ma control makuan din ka no ma disappoint din ka pero ang gusto sa mahon ni mo nga dili sa tanang panahon ma successful jud mo na siya nga dili sa tanang panahon ma successful na mga times nga di jud na to na malikayan class nga hala kanina da na adjoy ning complain nga guest or kanina ka nang na adjoy naka allergies kay wala nakalimot jud ko og ask no so may gani kay naay ka nang murag shot no kanang sini nako na siyang EpiPen wala na siya nay EpiPen so, may gani kay nay EpiPen ang ang gas niya na nako ana dayon ang ang situation na pacify pero of course nag complain jud siya because I wasn't quite mindful I was expecting I will be successful pero sige lang no it's part of learning next time I'll improve or next time I'll do better ana no so don't just success be ready for whatever happens no sa inyo hanga trip and if ever nga may mga shortcomings nga you were not able to see be open about those shortcomings and of course no ko an pod kanang try to make that experience no that learning that learning sit experience you mo ingog learning experience no kay experience is already il 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 learning opportunity so make that experience as more ang imuhang basis to to improve no sa next nga tour okay so visualize doing the spiel deliver your com- commentary already use your mind's eye to see yourself standing before your guests confidently so talking with the tourists listen extend this image in your mind by projecting a positive aura through your inner voice to affirm success so visualize yourself nga are confident giving out the spiel and dili lang kani siya class no kay dili visualizing doesn't work all the time you also need to practice mo din siya kung ginaingon ninyo kay so may visualize nimo nga hi in i visualize ta ko ugma nga confident kay ko mo storya ko an kay ko mai kay ko mo deliver pero wala kaga practice pag abot sa actual nga tour mag ko an ka no mag stutter mo din nakaka speak og tarong so best thing to do i think is to again no muscle memory always practice kay mo man akong ginabuhat pud nila ni care pud sa una no nga they're quite shy no i really like to work with shy people no mo bitan sa nga ano kani man si ko ani mong gipili first of all nindot siya mo english nindot siya mo storya no na may siya english second i like to work with shy people it is because um mas dali i-boost ilang confidence kaysa kanang confident na kaayudaan nya magtagbo ka og tone down no kanang ganing daghan kay siya like ball of energy siya no nga grabe na kay siya ka energetic nga dili na siya dimo siya ma control pero ang shy people mong good is it's easier for me to work with them because i can make them come out of their shell that is what i usually do with um care Josie Aji is also Aji is, is a very outspoken person no? pero na mga times nga shy jud kay siya no very hesitant kay siya pag una no di jud siya mo appeal and even the recent one which is um si I forgot her name. Guwapo mo dakong tawag niya god ko. <laughs> si ko ayan. In third year ba nalimot ko. Guwapo guwapo na siya si La. Mawawan ko ani pinaka recent pa rin ako nga contestant dili na. Ah si Queenie mo din na. Guwapo ra mo dakong tawag niya always so, si Queenie. No Queenie is really quite shy no and you really see her ga kanang very loud and ko ano and very hinhin kaayo siya. But what the, the one thing I like about her is learner siya no and she's very dedicated no when i say we need to practice automatically sayo pa lang kayo sa alauna na na siya no among sabot 130 or 2 and i really like that no she has commitment and consistency that is what i like no because shy people are are not confident no again diba nya dili sa ingon nga ah balag di ko magpractice oy kabalo na bitaw ko dili sila ingana kana ganing mo 
mo practice ko kada adlaw kay kanang dili ra ba ko confident kay sa kung self niya i need to improve no and that is why i always speak i always pick out uh, shy people no basta mo ko ako ko contestant sa tour guiding kay isud kay even alaksha no she's quite shy and very soft spoken kay na siya before before you see her speaking in, in in front of crowds when when i first met her when she was in grade 10 she was really quite shy no very soft spoken hin hin at first i was really frustrated no how can i make her voice louder no but later on no na na develop ra man na siya so mo na siya class i like to work with them because they're quite eager to practice. No, kana ganing bahalag holiday na adjud sila niya. May yung ikog ala una na 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 sila sa yuka ayo. And because they know nga unprepared sila, no, kana they're humble enough to to understand nga. I need I need this, I need this rehearsal for me to improve. No, muna kung ginahan nila kay kana gum mga guys, dili na sila ginahan mo practice kay feel nila bansay na sila. Mojo na ang ilahang murag mindset dina na sila gino practice kay ah, kabalo na bitaw ko ana balik-balik raman no but among shy king balik-balik na ha kapila na may magsig balik-balik ani gikapuya na siya one day usually mga ikot 20 mi magbalik-balik no nya kapoy na siya usahay gani karat na kailan tingog pero ngano ngano nga uh, magsigir japon na sila agto kada adlaw masking balik-balik ra japon because they feel they are unprepared but for me they are no ako lang is build up muscle memory more jud na siya practice and usually i also expose them to large crowds nga kuan mo storya mo nga naay mga tao no because when you speak nya ay daghang tao maanad mo so mo na siya akong mga technique no so mo na siya class no there's there's actually good thing no that is why um as possible no come on don't just picture out yourself nga nga you see yourself very confident speaking in crowds you also practice um, look in a mirror, present your feel. Ang pinaka effective is kanang sa daghang tao. No, kay, kung mga gudlahi rap class kung mo speaker ka by yourself in front of a mirror, kay sa kanang mo speak na siya kang nga daghang tao. Kay, dira mga gudmata sa out if dali ba ka ma distract. No, are you comfortable talking with large crowds? No, how do you handle yourself? So, mo na siya ang mga key. No, so don't just visualize success, be ready, practice. Tanan, no. That's how you be become successful. Don't just visualize it, no. Prepare. Kay, how can you be successful if dili ka preparado? More jud na siya. Nakuha ra class. Did you get my point? Yes, da. Okay. Next is breathe, no. <laughs> this is sometimes we we tend to forget this one, okay. Uh, I did mention kanina, no, katong next year, Haneta, about Ko ay, no? about students who are very shy when I did also my practice with some of my students no? night times <laughs> kaya ganyan, because they're so nervous shit shit so we ginhawa ay dahin yeah. kaya ganyan, 5 minutes kung ginhawa lain kay paminawan mong good if you don't breathe no? kay again no? you sound out of breath mura ka nagi apas dali ka per me no? Nya, ikaw po mismo kutasan ka dali kay kamaluya ana, no? and if you look very stiff, no, in front of the crowd, no, and you don't really feel comfortable because mag emulate mong na siya class good if you if you don't feel comfortable in how you speak and pas pas ka because ay, per ventilate na ako no sa kakulba no, kalma lang no, mayro gugo gusturya sa mga kauban nga, oy na ako ipasikat nga mga destination niyo, arita agto sa koan kay mo oni siya mo, mayro gyan na good no ang yung mga so ginhawa na no inhale and exhale and clear your mind body and soul by proper breathing when you hold your breath for a while and then release it you are just clearing the passage of your thoughts and emotions as you begin to deliver your commentary or spiel um in in our tour guiding no we don't do breathing exercises but of course what we do is i help them control you no know, their their breathing it comes so they might breathe is this sometimes important man but um, what we do is mystery siya nya pas pas kay siya okay ginhawa mako kuan ka nang hinahinayon nimo og og kuan so while you speak you also breathe so kalma lang jud ka dili ka magsigi ka nang makag nagi apas ang mo lang is mahuman lang ni ang tibuok nimong spill humana dayon no so take your time more sila kung ginaingon sa ila ha 
And then, kayo, very ironic, no? Umayon ko nilag take your time. And then, umayon ko din nila nga. Pero dapat maigo tag five minutes. Ang ako mga anak nga, nga, nga style is, they have to be comfortable with their spiel first. Mag-start sa dyan, memorize nila. Then, yun, pag human, memorize mo work mi sa gyon sa nila pag story, ano, enunciation, pronunciation, followed by presenting the spiel with movements. So, ang reason nga, ipatin ako lang time, kahit tagan ako sulag time nga, they are comfortable with the spiel. Once they are comfortable, very calm na kayo sila, etc. No? Muna din na nga time nga, mo work time with speed. Kaya kung mo work kauna with speed, without making them feel comfortable about their spiel, so, out of place sila yun, kaya na siya. Magtagbo sila ka pa. So, una sa may, kung kurtable na ganin na siya, na ganin rin, naanad na siya, kay muscle memory na ganin, no, kapalo na siya, on saan pag-present, na, na, kuan na niya, na memorize na niya, no, na know by heart na niya ang script. Ang yahan na lang siya daan na is, ang pag, kuan, no, pag-story, ang speed na dahil, okay, since you're comfortable with your spiel, let's try to make sure na makaabot ka og 5 minutes. Or, dili malapas og 5 minutes ang imuhang tour, ah, True guiding spiel. So, dira na din kumo introduce sa timer. Flag. So, another example po of what I usually do is, I try to make simulations. Kung sa ito kung makita sa contest, kaya sa contest, they use flags. They use a bell. Ako po na siyang iparihas o train sa ilaha. Kaya para maanad sila in the actual jig nga contest, nga, di na sila maratol ba? Kaya mabuyan ni siya ang naitabo po nga nag-mindfog ang usaka contestant, no? Or kanang nakuan siya. Murag, Nihuno na siya, no, kay pag tingog sa bell, namin na ka siya mustorya, no, namin na siya kay siya nakuan. Pero very tense kay siya, no, tense kay siya. Pag tingog pa lang sa bell, to indicate nga he has at least two minutes remaining, layo pa kayo na, ha? Nihuno siya. No, ning freeze siya sa stage. Kaya wala siya na anad. Okay? So, ibuhat nila is, once you're comfortable, introduce ta sa timer. I will time you 5 minutes. Dayon, introduce din ako ang flag. Kung erase gin ako ng flag, meaning stop na ka. Ha? Hunong na kay 5 minutes na. Pero kung mobile ko, meaning last 2 minutes na siya. So, napakay another 2 minutes na lang to finish your script or your spiel. So, at first, no, matense rin sila. No, Pas-pas kilang breathing, ano. No, Ga-apas rin sila. Kung nga, ayaw. No, kutong level of, of how comfortable you are with this before the timer, yung atua lang, no? ayaw lang sagka-pressure, we will just see if makaabot ka o 5 minutes. So, more na siya. The more nga na-expose ang estudyante, the more na siya nga naanad. Pag abot na sa contest, dilit na siya matense atong flag. Makita siya sa flag, dilit na siya makulbaan. Kay, ah, naanad naman ko ani, kay mo man yung ginapraktisa na mo. No? Pag bell po, pag bell po lang dahil, na siya matense. No? Kay, I usually make an environment wherein it's similar to the contest. And before the contest, usually what I do is, oh, saka ta sa stage na, yung mga estudyante na maglakaw-lakaw, pasagdai sila, balag lang tawon ka, no? And I usually teach them nga, kiver, no? Always have this koan nga, dili ka mo, mo dili ka makonsyos sa, sa surroundings ni mo. Uh, and even sa koan po, no? Introduce them to classrooms. Importante yung makaayon na siya class, no? Maanad siya o crowd, para dili siya madali madistract. Kay if if it's just between you and the coach, matabo is dili siya maanad, no? Kay wala man ni mo siya ipaanad sa environment nga which is mo ang environment nga sa contest na. So mo na siyang example. Um that is why in breathing what you're going to do is say no kay you're not going to 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 join a contest man. Sa inyo hara is ko an no? uh, be comfortable with the script first. Once you're comfortable, you are familiar. You are already familiarized with the script. No, ko anani mo siya na 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 basa na ni mo siya. Kabalo na ka ang sinunod isulti. Kabalo na kasi mong actions, etc. You're comfortable na. Then try da yon to breathe, no, and to make sure ng maigot yung five minutes, no. So ginhawa lang, no. And then when when you talk, ko anan yun, no. Ginhawa na ka, kalma na ko, mara ko gasturiya, mara ko na siya, mara ka gasturiya na mo nga. Muni siya kung nga giagtuan, muni siya kung i-recommend sa inyo ha, mara ko nga na. Okay. So, how to make a commentary? So, this one, these are the skills you need to make a commentary, no? Let's just have a recap for those who just joined us this morning. So, we have first, the leadership skills. Oh, man, the first skill required in making a commentary. 
followed by communication skills. Under communication skills, you have creating a platform image such as the voice rate, eye contact, body language, and your audience. The third skill is listening skill. So, katong upat kung na mention no, to na audience, um, ma, na body language, under to siya sa communication skills. The third skill is listening skill. And then, followed by research skills and delivery skills. How to handle nervousness? This is different. This is not a part of a skill on how to make a commentary, but this is how to handle nervousness. So, you have first, get to know your stuff, meaning you need to be prepared for your itinerary by studying your destination. Know the place. If mahimo, you have to really go to the destination. Most especially, if dili ka kabisado, no? Kung asa ang entrance, asa ang exit, asa mga places nga prohibited, no? And unsafe. Okay, next is visualize success. Not just visualize success as what I kano, I would like to reiterate, no? Um, di ba ni anak ko ninyo nga, nga dili lang tama visualize og success. You also need to work to be successful, no? You need to be prepared. Um, you need to also expect for unexpected or what is worse to come, no? Kay naman ko yung mga times class nga, nabutang sa tong tour nga, dili na ito makontrol and we, nga, kung masigil mo kukuingod ka, dapat mga successful joke ko, no? Usahay, maano manggug ka, no? Either ma-pressure ka or mag-expect na kung too much of yourself so to avoid any disappointments, no? Kung lang, just accept nga, you did your best. There are things that you cannot control. Although you like to be successful, you visualize nga, nga this trip will be successful. Nasa yung mga buwan, delete na to. Di siya ito makontrol. Nasa yung, na, na yung mga inevitable nga butang nga, anang, wala ito na foresee. That is why, para malikaya na, oh, you need to also be ready. Not just visualize success. Can act sweet, no? So, if you feel tense, no, just think nga, you're just going to share um, some valuable information about the destination that you would like others to also visit, no? And, ko lang po, take your time when you speak, no? Ginhawa lang dyan, no? Dili kang magsige o kanang katans. Siguro for the finals, I will, ko ano lang siguro, do away with what is traditional, no? in theory, more on theory, mga gano'n siya. But maybe, like, provide tips lang goro on on how I usually um, do things with my students, no. Um, I've had no experience when it comes to. I've had a lot of experience speaking in front of people, no. But I only had one experience, I think, in in conducting an actual tour guide with visitors. Usually, when I, when when I do um, a campus tour, because our school is quite bigger than here in in CSR, you know. Sa mo asa o kay nang gumibang building nga, dagkukayo mga laboratory, no, dito sa kong alma mater. And usually, we are invited to to become um, student guides, no. Mag-campus tour me sa mga, like, delegates or kanang teachers that would visit our school. Pero, um, some of the techniques that I'm usually using in in my students are not from my experience as a tour guide, no. Pero di mo siya, like, legit na tour guide. These are some of the techniques that I have observed and also what I have acquired no, from my years of, of speaking in front of of people. Okay, kung ano class, no? Again, in our industry, no, we we talk a lot. No? Most especially if you are assigned in, in the marketing and sales department and you conduct like a tour in, in the hotel, no? Or for example, you're in, in the front office, no? You always speak to a lot of people, so it's important. Okay, so how to make a commentary. So the effectiveness of a commentary requires audience analysis and visitor expectation. People take a guided tour to be informed, educated, and, in, and to be entertained. Information varies according to types as parts of the commentary. So first is the required. No? Required genisha in every commentary. First is the name of the tour guide, the driver, or the bus coach. No? Or, or, koan, bus captain, yung bus coach, bus captain, di ay, no? or coordinator, should be part of the introduction and greeting. And even the tour and travel company, na, no, your tourists must know who you are, no, where are you affiliated, where is the driver affiliated, and even, no, the bus captain, kay, tatisyo na ang driver, ang bus captain class, kay, labi ng, mga laag mo nun, 
mga isa nga, kinsa ganito to pangalan sa driver ko, itong pangitaon, no, na yung mga turista nga, na naglaag sa mall or kuan, ginanan sila mag-una-una sa bus, no, so, importante na, even contact details po. Next is informational, no, so this includes the basic information given, in including the history, facts and figures, and whether on a running tour or during walkabout tours. So, naman akong i-mention, no, importante ka na, that is why we need research skills, kay the tourists are there for, to learn, no, about, about the destination. Uh, they are there to actually, kanhang, know about the history, no, know about, kung say background, ano nga lugar, no, kay, wala may kabalo, di mo may taga diri, dili, kay, ginanas lang, lantaw ni mo, mag-entertain ka, no, dili mo na ila, dili mo na mo ilang purpose, no. Okay, so next is requested. So, through interactive guiding, guests ask questions, and the tour guide, tour guide's duty is bound to answer this requested information for clarification. Although, this is not required, but this is sometimes requested, no, by our guests, most especially students, no, kung mag-educational tour, tanaj yung estudyante nga, very eager to um, ask questions, no. Um, just make sure lang class nga, more na, pili, mo pili lang siya taon sa questions atong ang i-answer, no? Kay, not all questions are worthwhile, no? Or even worth your time. Kaya na yung questions nga, kaya either too personal or just pure nonsense. No? So, you learn to also filter, like, if that question is related sa tour, then you can answer that. If, if, if it's more personal, no, or very intrusive na kayo, if they mong musnob lang tano, you can just decline politely, like, we could just say, um, I'm sorry, but um, I cannot answer your question. No, that's out of the ko ano nasa no of what we're supposed to do today. Or, for example, I'm only allowed to answer. Or, um, I'm only allowed number nine in dictation. Nimo, ayon lang kang kanang. I will only answer questions that is related to the tour. So let us set aside personal questions. No, you have no place for that in the tour. So yun alang. So optional is part of the commentary. This is optional class because again, not everyone can provide jokes, no, or trivials. Maybe the the informational part of your commentary itself is enough, no, as more like part of 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 your tour guiding spiel. So optional, ko yun siya no ka ng Mag additional lang ni mo nga more engaging ang imuhang trip or tour such as good jokes, interesting stories, trivia or legends. And it's not all the time that you need to really provide jokes. Most especially if you're not, ano, you do not have a sense of humor. No, parang sa ako, um, maayro ako sa mga one-liner ng mga captions class kung memes. Pero alam ko yung pastry hag jokes. No, kay it's either what you kaya lamig. I do not know how to ko an abut lang class. No, dilit ko maayo mo hata ko kanang marag ko an ganit. I do not have a sense of humor, Richard. No, I do have a sense of humor. Kung ikaptioner na ako ang im kanara. Pero other than that, wala na siguro. Interesting stories. Also, for example, no, na baka experience ani nga lugar or you had a tourist or a friend whom you had a very interesting experience, no, with, and you'd like to share that experience with your with your tourist. So, for example. Mga o, nabi mo ano nga restaurant, no? One time, we had a drinking game with my friends. Pero, kana po mga stories nga, nga very modest po, ha? Dili po kayo ng mga, mga maot na kayo nga stories, no? So, kanang, ko ayun. And then, money siya. It was a very lucky moment because money na tabo, etc. No? Trivia. So, you can ask questions along the way, most especially if you have prepared prizes. No? Okay, so, since you are done with our tour sa kanina museum, who would like to tell me, oh, Kano sa amin na discovered, etc. etc. Na just provide questions regarding lapud ko nsa mga information na provided sa previous nga destination. Okay, next kay legends. No, like for example, magtumo sa Mount Mayon. It is believed that no, Adiwata resides in this volcano. No, may ana. Okay, or it was named after. A beautiful maiden. Mas kompleto sa class, no? For me, I think we can compensate if we if we do not have a sense of humor. I think we can compensate on interesting stories and legends because I think everyone enjoys a very good legend, no? Especially if either 
creepy siya nga legend no or it's a very beautiful nga, nga legend no narjan na ana pero dotol dot no dapat bagi bahimo lang tag legend ani kanan yung akipod nga legend ba nga mo jud ni ang kanang murag story sa ilang lugar dili kay maghimo himo na lang ka for the sake nga to, for your for your tourists to be entertained dili pod Okay, factors to consider in gas analysis. So, part of making the itinerary, kato ko naman siya, uh, not just get to know the destination, but also get to know your guest. Okay, for us to adjust, no, kaya labi ng may mga guest na to nga medyo bata pa, or may mga guest na to nga medyo koan po. Kanang lahi og nationality, lahi og culture, and need to be really culturally aware. Kay if there are things na nga they find offensive no kay tungod mo na siya class so, wala wala ta nag study no nga ay hala dili mo avoid ta og mo agto aning mga mga restaurants nga mo serve og pork kay we have a tourist who is a muslim and it's not halal no dili siya lawful ang mga food dire so you will look for another place nga that can also that everyone can enjoy no sa so, mga ing ana no or for example if naa kay kanang like buddhist baron or ko an nga 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 tourists most especially kanang mga Indians no and and they treat cows as sacred animals so avoid put ta mga places nga we're in mga na no ka offer og kanang anang type of food na i beef no, or even kanang mga ko lang culturally offensive nga lugar okay kay mom sila gani mom kay racist kay sila towards sa mga mom nya ano we need to be culturally sensitive as much as possible we try to not be like them no if if they are like xenophobic no or koan as much as possible let us be the bigger person no na dili lang ta mo mo parehas ana nila kay para makita nila nga balag koan at least wala nag nagbuild ito sa uban so always know the nationality and country of origin and we need to also be culturally aware no what other things that offends these people most especially if majority of our tourists are from this nationality or country if most of our tourists cannot speak english so if you know another language if you know how to speak in mandarin so you can do that no or if wala you can just assign if dilijon mo kaya kay ka speak og mandarin no and it's really difficult kan namang gutay language barrier ana good you can ask another tour guide who can take over for you nga maka speak siya og mandarin and we're also very good nga, nga tour guide no bitaw na class kalaban ko tour guide ka kung accredited ka nga tour guide daghan ki kag skills you also speak other languages care it's a requirement next is okay sorry Next is social economic status. Ano oh, sorry, age and gender. So man siya. If importante ng age food class, no? Kaya again, ako na mention na ninyo. If inyo mga tourists kay mga bata, no? Make the tour more engaging, more fun. But you need to also establish command, no? Kay but the kind of like energy ano ng mga bata, no? Yung hindi ko kabalo mo control, kajud ang kapuyan, no? If more on medyo mature, mature imo mga tourists, adults na, so be Imuhang approach is more mature na po, no? And less energy or distracting, no? Kaya dito sila ng mga adults, ano, no? Ilang i-focus, ano, is the the destination itself, no? Taking pictures, on sa ang history, ano, ano. Siguro, ang pag-deliver po din mo sa imong commentary is also different. Kaya kung mga bata siya, instead of just delivering a very boring commentary, you know, oh, this, the history of this place is mo ni siya, imuhang siya ni mo as mura kagatal og story. Ano nga? Once upon a time, class there was a princess who lived here, and ako na mga very interesting yung kaya siya ba? Okay, nopo na siya importante, no? In gas analysis, social economic status and educational attainment. Okay, labi na kung kung ano makabalo ka nga, lo mga bright trabaho niya kung mga kanso. You need to be really prepared, no? Um, dito mo gamit ng high fluent words. Again, as much as possible kay para yung ingnun nga bright kano, so dili. As much as possible, we just ko ano speak casually. Most especially if there are tourists nga kanang koan pa. Labi na kanang 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 dili ka ayo taw gani. Dili kayo ka keep up. Sampol sa nga, mam pwede ra ka mag mag Bisaya no kay Bisaya ami kalabanan dili. Pwede ra jud ka ayo no. So mo po na imo hang ikoan. So special interest. So do they like hiking? 
if more adventurous ang ang interest sa imuhang tourist no all of your tourists are more into kanang adventure so siguro mag mag kohimo kag itinerary nga more adventurous ang trip kay they would get easily bored if city tour ra. if these tourists are more on an education so maybe it's more on like historical sites church shrines no or any educational nga lugar occupation and profession how long is their visit have they been here before and how much do they already know so to avoid nga ay mga redundant class sa imuhang itinerary or sa imuhang spiel ask them if majority of them has already been in the destination if nakaagto na sila diri sa lugar so choose a more unique or different nga koan different nga nga destination no just unique pag snack sa muday. Okay, so kung first time pa nila, introduce sa guru sila sa kanang mga koan lang. Dili ka ayo koan jud nga lugar, no? Kanang city tour lang sa ta. Okay, introduce na to ang siyudad o sa ta mo gawas. No, kung kung bago pa sila. Pero kung bago na sila, mo ingus lang nga. Ari naman may diri kod nya. Kaagto na ko sa inyong plaza, kaagto na ko sa inyong simbahan. Kaagto na po ko diri. So Ngita kag mga lain nga destination nga unique no kay nakakto naman sila diri San Carlos or sa kung asa ka na na assign nga destination. Okay, so some tips for effective commentary. Information should be brief, concise, straightforward, easy to understand. So no need for you nga kanang gikontrol sa kauna pa jud nga history. No kung most ka about history sa lugar, kuno sa Asia na discovered, kuno gipangalan siya og ingan ingani no. Um, kinsa man ang ang nakadiscover no on say mga interesting like, like for example no taas kayo ang information niya mamili na kag kanang pinaka importante no mm. interesting kana lang relevant carefully researched studied and selected information based on the type of tourist on the area or site being discussed so for example if na ay dark history ang kaning nga lugar kay mo malikayan unya ang imuhang mga audience kay mga bata, no? So, make it more coard lang, no? We don't do sugar coating. So, siguro, hatag na siya po accurate ng information, pero, let's just do away with with katong, like, na, na, no murder diri, or oh, sight ni siya sa kuan. Dili na to na siya ibutang, ano, no? Kami ng mga bata, no, mahadlock siya na sila. So, kung lang, select information that is relevant to your tourist. Okay, structure. Facts presented should have a form from the beginning, the middle, and the ending. It should not be just an inventory or list of information presented and enumerated, but consistent flow of information, general to specific or vice versa, and not scattered. Muna ko na mention ng big balik siya ko niya be coherent. No meaning, na siya structure ba nga? Opening spiel sa ta, hatag din ta sa rules, then introduce na to ang lugar, starting with its background and history, followed by the different destinations, next, the legacy, the Yen festival, after which we will have a very small trivia, just to summarize all of the destinations in the trip, then closing spiel. No, na, ay, kung lang yung, sugod na ang tour, tunga na mo, dira pa ka mo hatag sa rules, no? So, lap ta, no? So, dapat na ay, na ay, pagpasunod ba? Next, varied. Encompasses several or all other areas of concern about a certain topic discussed. And it's not just, tanan na lang nga simbahan ninyo magtuan. This is a shrine for praise and worship. No? Unsa pa siya ilain niyong masulti ani. No? Nga, nga unique siya. No? Kala nilain lain ang imuhang ko an ba? Objectivity in all preservation. So, the objectives. I'm oh, sorry. The objective should be clear, not being subjective. So, ab- avoid being biased or very opinionated in your tour. It says this is the best koan, res- restaurant in the city, but um, I beg to differ. Wala mo nga yung sibuhang koan. Ang mo alang nga ni Es. Nga no, natawag siya mga best restaurant. No? Ah, kahit itong word. Na-awarda na sila. Eh, pagkahuman kay um, showcase niya ang Filipino food. No, may anak. So, you have to relay your, um, your spiel based on facts that you have researched and 
came a little bit from from reading in the library, you know, mga history books, no, about a cert- about the certain destination, from the information provided by the LGU, specifically the tourism office, no, or from your research in the internet, or by talking to the locals. Dili kay, kasi mong opinion, maot siya. Niya, wala minaingon nga ko, ano, kani nga siya, hindi ka ginahan, kay daan ka ayaw. Diba, wala miniagto para sa mong opinion, no? So, don't be subjective. Okay. I think we're almost done. Turning it up, up. We're almost done. Okay, I'm hot to go on. Okay, steps in delivering a commentary. So, first, smile, greet, introduce yourself, and the driver. So, magandang ka nga. Good morning, everyone. My name is Saibla A. Ramirez. I'll be your tour guide for today. With me is my bus captain, Mr. Oh, Mr. Ramos. Say hi, hello. Ngita kong script eh, kaya para mas makuan. Sana, no? And then, brief the guests about the tour for the day. So, ako lang i-try o search ang tour guiding spiel. Okay, muhatag naman siya mo sa inyo hang So, di rin po rin anak siya kakuan. Just begin with a smile. So for example, mana ka? Even even your voice, no? Kita siya nga you're very enthusiastic. So, good afternoon, my dear tourists. I'm Saibel, your tour guide for today, and it's my pleasure to be of service to you. By the way, I would like to meet you, our coach captain Carlo. Say hello to Carlo, and we are from the CSR Travel and Tours. We have prepared so many fun and interesting activities for all of you. And you're about to witness firsthand the wonderful and beautiful destinations of San Carlos City. So, yan na lang, no? Very friendly. Tatanggol na ako kong mask, no? Para makita ninyo ako ang expressions. No? So, smile and greet with enthusiasm. Ha? You're happy to be here. No? Sa tantangan, ha? Demon siya takay. Mahatag naman siya mo sa inyong video sa ako, ah. Notice na alam tayo idea. So, for example, mana ka. Good afternoon, my dear tourists. I'm Saibel, your tour guide for today, and it's my pleasure to be of service to you. By the way, I would like you to meet our coach captain, Carlo. Say hello to Carlo, and we are from the CSR Travel and Tours. We have prepared so many fun and interesting activities for all of you, and it and you are about to witness firsthand the wonderful and beautiful destinations of San Carlos City. Sana, lang ako na-memorize, no? Pero, I think it's much more important if you memorize your spiel, no? Kay, or at least familiarize lang, no? Kay, para di mong sige o glance in mong mata. Okay, so just smile and greet, no? And when you speak, ga-smile ka. Kay, oh, mag-i tendency po, no? From time to time ka nang marag, we are so focused on what to say, nga malimot na taong smile. And you also need to smile with your eyes, no? At least kay, kung ano, nang marag fresh kay muhang naong lantaon. Okay, but pasensya na if if kaon kay ka katulgon po chuke. Let's do sin ako na tulog ka. Sorry kayo. So ano lang, no? So deliver information in a manner that would interest the guest. So did you know that this destination was originally named, you know, may ana lang kan gamay lang nga uh, fun fact. Add sense of humor if you do not have a sense of humor, no kay. It's better to just stay away from telling jokes if you do not have a sense of humor. Kaya sa mawali ka, no? Kaya nga mapalpak ka nga. Nilis lang mga tawa. Awkward kayo na siya, no? Siguro hatag lang ka mga legend or stories. Ay, guys. um I would like to share this legend to you. No? So, kaya nagaling murag ko. Ano ka, ayaw ka, no? Um, murag ka na. Nasa ko isulti ninyo. Nako, itchy ka nga. Kaya. So, kaya nga mga yung anak ba? No, nga, you're very enthusiastic to tell them nga what you have learned from or what you have um sa tawag ni ay? Kaya nga murag nadunggan ni mo, no, from from this destination. Remember that people join a tour to be entertained with the facts and stories about the place, appreciate the things they see. So, face the group, not a few. That is why when they provide their spiel, if they have to walk, no, kahit di manjit na panahon, magsigira kagtindog, no, if you have to walk because you have a very large crowd in front of you, magug mag-tad talk lang, talang nyo mag-tad talk, no, if you have to walk less, your face is still facing your audience, even if your body is shifting, para mula ka. That's what I usually tell um, my students, no nga. 
if you really need to walk because dili mo kag kinahanglan mo sige ka pabilin dira kinahanglan ka mo imuhang face dito ra Japan and then imuhang body oh galakaw ka dili po all the time mo sige ra never ka magtalikod no ka again no ang imong tingog ana mawala na okay mo talikod bang ka so ang volume sa imong tingog dito na padulong can you speak clearly and slowly this is where this is my weakness sometimes no so especially for a larger group Okay, you need to be really audible. No? So, siguro, let's have another retake in that one. So, kung slow, so mayon ka. Good afternoon, my dear tourist. I am Saibel, your tour guide for today. And it's my pleasure to be of service to you. So, slow pace, take your time. No, Every word, dapat ma-enunciate mo siya og tarong no? para mas audible siya sa imuhang audience. If wala ka gadali po, no? Sa mga lang gula to, speed really matters sa mga sa contest. Sa inyo, okay ra, no? Ma'am, what if may exceed me yung 5 minutes na ay minus points? Dili ako minus, no? Basta, dili lang po, yung anak ka, ka taas, mabutog mga 10 minutes, no? Siguro na rin ka-chop down, pero pili on rin ninyo asa ang pinaka-essential. Mo rin na ang magpabilin. Okay, and the last one, last slide. Voice should be audible. Mojo na siya. Don't speak softly. And do not speak loudly. Oh, kaya sakit kasi dalunggan. No? So, voice should be audible. Just write the right amount of volume. If you are speaking to large crowds, siguro to avoid nga ma-strain imong voice, you can just buy or ask, no? request ka o ka ng megaphone. Pero kung sabog or basag ka ayo ang, ang megaphone class, siguro ka na like a lapel. No, would would do or person na may ani no na yung mga yung ani man class nga ipilit ra din yun ay speaker sa kuan attach your body practice eye contact again ako ano siya na mention niyo if you are still intimidated with with making eye contact sa mga audience you can just look at the forehead and the audience will think you're looking at them in the eyes no but actually ilanto naman yung kasa forehead Prepare yourself for questions to be asked. That is why, in order to be a successful tour guide, you need to be really prepared. You need to really know your destination by heart. No, kay, mula kung gihat ng mga example, no, na yung mga subjects class nga, it's either I'm prepared, but wala siya na ko siya gilearn by heart, no? Na yung mga tendency nga, if na ayaw makakasug ka siya na kong estudyante, ako sang ikuan class ha ako sang ikuan no and, and that is where i fall short tapo yung mga kuan nga we're in kabisado na sini mo bali-balihon pa na siya makabalo na jug ko no makastorya da ko spontaneously i can even add other pointers no or or other information kay tungod oh preparado man ka so in order for you to to effectively answer questions sa imong mga tours most especially if it's related to the tour you need to really prepare yourself no do um, a lot of research. No? Dili ingon nga, three days before sa tour, dira pa ka mag-research, dira pa ka mabasa. No? Maskin, prepare for like a week or two. At least kabisado na siya ni mo. Maskin, bali-balihon pa na ni mo, no? makatubag siya ka. Take control of your breathing and try to emphasize important words. Most especially, if you're going to provide the rules and regulations and health and safety protocols. Kalma ka, Ana. No? Emphasize ni mo. Do not oh, go to the. I mo yung kanang hinayon jani mo ba niya? Emphasize jani mo kaya labi ng if you are dealing with um younger tourists, no, and they tend to to not follow rules, no. So mo na siya. Importante kay emphasize jani mo rules and regulations most especially. Use synonyms in explaining, and then when mentioning a name, repeat it or spell it. Spell it, no. Kay for example. Okay, sir, would you like to um, say something? What is your name, the answer? I would like to ask. Uh, for example, may ngon siya. Um, what's my line nga name? Um, siguro, like, someone ha? Oh, Misha. Oh, kana lang. Misha. Okay. Um, what is that, ma'am? Is that Misha? Did I, um, did I say it correctly? Yes, ma'am, Misha. And how do I spell Misha, ma'am? Is it M I S C H A? Or, gone. Would, would you like 
to spell your name out for or for example, yung spelling pa din mo masayop ang ang koan, ang name sa tourist. Pero in order to avoid that, I think you should ask siguro para maka-avoid ta mangutan na ano kasi sometimes it can be awkward. Ang call siguro, we can either provide them with name tags. You can spell out their name and you can also even have a list. Importante na sa class no. You have a list of your tourist na naay name and of course na picture nila. Okay, that is what you usually do sa, sa hotel, especially if na yung mga banquet, like, makabalumi, ah, kanin siya tagaan siya, garland, kay, mo yung nakabutang sa kong, like, sa list. Okay, maintain silence if need arises. Listen carefully to questions and other concerns. Never argue with guests. That is a no-no to always, like, retaliate, kay, offend ka. That is not part of the, abi na kita, no, we have the urge to defend ourselves, but in our industry, we need to avoid that. As much as possible, we need to be calm. If we cannot handle the complaint, okay, we already did our best, that's okay. We can ask for help from our superior. No? Basta never argue. It, it may cost you your job no? or your reputation or it can start a more complicated argument. No? Kana ganing dili jud siya yung anak katantong nagwala or nagmaoy mas mumaoy pero dug samot kay ning tubag kaniya no always end your tour by thanking the guest for joining the tour no that's the closing spiel on behalf of the CSR Travel and Tours we would like to thank you for joining with us this morning so, mana we hope to see you soon uh, we hope to see you again in your future trips goodbye thank you everyone and god bless so, mga yung anak nga example, no? Always thank the guests. Because without them, there would be no tour, no? You would not be here. So, yung muna siya ang marag one way, no? Of, of thanking the guest or the, or the tourist. Okay? Any questions? Pangutana? By the way, I would I would like to give out the instructions for the exam. We still have thirty minutes to spare. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, for your macro perspective, di ba? Kinsa na ang naka-explore sa Travify? I mean, nakatry na jud o kuan. After my discussion last last week, I think. Kinsa naman ang naka-try o explore sa Travify nga nga website. Anyone? Okay. Okay, so si Julieta nag-try na siya. Because for your midterm exam, you'll be making... Kaan na siya ha? Please list this down. Ko lang gano'ng ikawin. Okay, I will post the instructions maybe today in Google Classroom. Para di ko makalimot no kay daghan kay kog buhaton nun class. So prepare an itinerary. Dili ni mo i-submit karon no. Submit ni mo siya siguro mga next week. This is for your midterm. Prepare an itinerary for at least um overnight stay lang 2 days and 1 night para di kay nga kataas no. 2 days and 1 night nga stay in oh, Los Angeles using Travify. So, duhara ka adlaw, no? So, for example, pag abot niya sa airport on sa activities niya until gabi, eh, pagka following day, na siya tour sa buntag, hapon ana is muli na siya. So, ang matabo ana morning, first day ha, ako lang i-discuss ninyo on sa unod. Day 1, Arrival, check in sa hotel, and then tour. Kamo na bahala, decide kung unsang at kind of tour in the afternoon. PM, do not forget to include meals, no like dinner or lunch, and also provide koan, um, car rental. No, so na asay, na mo pick up niya, so car rental. If you do not know how, again, kindly um, visit no or 
ko ay nagtawa tong video nga ako ang gi-record sa klase na to. Katong nagklase ko on how to to use Travify. Ikaduha na ko nagklase ato actually. No? Kung naka-attend sa first o sa second, magduha na ganito sila ang nagdugay ato. Or si Julia tago ito nagpabilin na lang. So, duha to kabuok no? Mag-usar akong na-upload um, on how to make an itinerary using Travify. Okay, muna siya ang day 1. Day 2, so, tour Japan siya in the morning, AM, and in the afternoon, departure na niya. So, let me just uh, reiterate ha. So, for your midterms exam, make an itinerary no, in Travify that is good for two days and one night stay in Los Angeles. Los Angeles? Los Angeles. Okay. So, first day will be the arrival, then check-in sa hotel, then in the afternoon tour na na siya. Please include meals and transportation. Depende niyo if you will provide a voucher or not. Kung wala, wala siya problema. Basta makay mo or siya itinerary. We will see if kabalo ba siya mo, no? Wala mo siya kung gusto i-assess class. Kay, so, ano, sige kong theory, sige kong discuss ninyo, wala tayo hands-on. So, ano yung pagkakat mo, Anna? No? Mag hands-on ta. Okay, and then for the day 2, tour in the morning, and then sa hapon, departure na. So, overnight rin siya, no? Kay, day 1, ko naman siya, maabot siya, laag siya, matulog siya sa hotel, and then inika, inika second day, laag na po siya, and then muli na siya sa hapon. Kamo na bahala sa time. Basta, and then when ni siya, basta, any in the May of, uh, in the May, in the month of April. Any date, basta in the month of April. Mom, do we need to include, like, mag-booking pa sa PAL, or, kung ba, no? If there is such thing. Um, or, for example, kung sa United Airlines, etc. Diretso na lang mo, Travify, tanan. So, anyway, nakasubmit naman mo sa inyo ang booking summary sa airlines. Ang um, car rentals, kahit dili mo kahit nakakuan dyan o booking summary niya, naram to sa kilid. And, sa hotel, no, supposed to car na ko i-discuss, no, pero, medyo we're short of time. I will not meet you sa 18, that is why I'm going to provide the instructions right now. When will we submit this one? So, karon kung di pa mo busy, no, kaya supposedly your exam will be on the 18 and 19. So, kani siya, exam na ninyo ha, kaning itinerary sa macro perspective ni siya. Macro pa lang ni. You will submit this on the 26th, um, extend lang ko until 27, for the itinerary in Travify. On sa inyong isan sa ako, ah, ang link. No? Or, kato lang PDF para mas tindot. No? Save mo, isave ninyo ang PDF sa Travify. Ma'am, kung cellphone na ang mong gamit, screenshot na lang guru ang itinerary. Ay ko tagay ka tong i-edit pa. Katong final na jud. No? Siguro mahatag lang guru kong sample. So, muna siya ang inyong i-submit. When will this be? This will be on, hindi siya project ka, exam ni siya. This will be on March 27. March. For tour guiding, pwede mo bombarded with exam. Katong inyuhang ko ano lang, tour guiding video, katong na lang itong i-exam. Ning hatan na mo ato o extension na nga yung extension so sa 25. 25 mo mo submit sa inyong tour guiding video. Again, what to wear? Complete tour guiding uniform. No? And then, katong na ito book spiel ninyo. From opening until closing spiel. Then, at least good for 5 minutes. Please make sure nga well-capped ang hair. Naka-hair bun. Dili magdunghay. Ang kay cute man ko magdunghay, ma. Magdunghay ra ko. Oy, balik na ko ng video sa inyo, ha. Sa magdunghay mo. Agpangko mo. Kas kay kuturism uniform mo. Asa mo ko kitag taga STI nga nasa picture nga gadunghay. Or taga LCC. Oh. Pagpangko mo. Ha, kay... Panlags na lang kita makakita nga mag-tour guiding uniform mo. Di pa siya magpangko. Magpangko mo and then... Ko ayon. Masa, complete tourism uniform. For those, those, I will just return your cap. Dahil pa ngayon, sana ko to kay Sir Verson. Masa, complete with cap and scarf. Ha? Hindi lang ta magpamake. Bunggan siya kitang makeup, no? Kanang light makeup lang, or... Kanang di po tamang lapsi. Yes, Juliet. Nag-unmute ka sa yung microphone. Yes, then. 
Madam. Sorry. Madam. Ganang wala na ko na dala. Ah, cap. cap dam. Wala na ko na dala. Ay, okay, pero dala ni Memon. Na address mo ni Sam uniform. <laughs> na ara. Akong scarf, oh, ug akong coat dam. Oh, na ara dam. Akong skirt dam gyud. Ah, okay. Kinaman so you kay. can just make do. Anyway, for Juliet, we do understand na because uh -oh. Hmm. So, okay, Ramag, like, oh, okay, any black skirt So, for Juliet, so, see, I will give, um, a consideration lang, no, kay, of course, na, amang kadira sa koan, sa Canada, so, sige, um, wala lang kay cap, no, as much as we want everyone to be uniform, no, pero sige lang, but sa uban, nga, naar naman diri, pag cap mo, kung naarad siya pun sa inyo, ha, kay, para, nito talang taon, no, kay, kung na ba na siya class, pohon, maghimo may unya, o, page. Para ma-upload na to, to ang inyong mga project. No, kay, sayang ka, if nindot inyong mga projects na dili na to i-showcase, sayang ka ayo. So, pag-complete uniform mo, provide lang mo light makeup, dili injured siguro nga naka-flashy, ka nang sakto-sakto lang nga, dili po ta mga lapsi. So, 25 ang deadline, Anna. That will serve as your exam na lang po and your output. Yes, Kay. Hi, good morning, dam. Dam ka nang, pag mo edit yung video, Anna, dam ka nang kunwari, dam na yung background sa mong likod, dam, or normal lang na... Depende na ninyo, no? Depende sa iyo kung asang comfortable. Either na ay background, dira, sa yung likod, sa destination, or, para sa itong sa video yung nakitaan sa YouTube, no, nga, gastory ako, na ay gamay nga picture ra sa babaw. Kaya ganyan mo, Anna ka, na ay gamay nga picture, o, pwede ra. Doha ka option sa, either tibok background din nyo, kay katod yung destination, or, na ay gamay nga picture mo pop up ra. Welcome to San Carlos Bermeo Cathedral. Na mo pop up nga picture sa cathedral sa kilid. May ana ra. Na gani uban nga ang, ang TV ra nila no ko. Sa pul ma'am, dili abi mi ka eh, kabalo mo edit ma'am. Pwede ra i-flash sa TV. Oh, kun di mo kabalo mo edit ay, sa oh. TV, di ba? Kun amoy smart ay, TV. Oh, TV that. ninyo nya i-flash lang ang destination. Pwede ra basta mm -hmm. na allergy picture sa destination. Kamo na bahala discard eh. kung i-edit niyo sa background na mo pop up bang nga picture or nala mo TV sa inyo ha. Make sure lang nga dili lang siya ngit-ngit ka tibuok video nya, ngit nya or hayag kayo ang TV or ngit-ngit kayo ang TV nya, hayag kayo ka. No? So sakto-sakto ra. Background Just make sure if ginahan mo nga na background music to make it more creative. Again, no, dili ko mo, mo kuan, dili ko magbuot kung unsa ka creative in yung video. Made the most creative video win. If ginahan jud mo nga na ay kuan, wala siya problema. Basta dili mo overlap. Nagani tendency class nga ang inyong background music. Kana ganing mas mula pa sa inyong speaking voice. Make sure nga kung inyong iko ayon mas, uh -huh. mas mag, dungog jud yung tingog niya. Subtle lang ang background kuan music. Okay. Okay, anyway, Sige, thank you, Dam. Ang pinakaninot nga video, kayo, mamunod na itong sabot, no? Ang pinakaninot nga video, automatic na na-perfect sa exam. Sa tour guiding. Okay? And then, the rest, oh, mahatag mo siya po ko o kuan po, no? Kaya ga-effort good mo. Mahatag na po ko reasonable nga grade. Depende po sa creativity sa yung video. Mahatag na po ko criteria class, no? Kaya para ma-guided mo. Pasensya siya kay class, no? Nabiaan, actually, to be honest, I... I have to be frank with you, no. Nabi ano yun tama kay. Nabi si Miss Saturday, as Saturday, ding sa amu ang pre-oral defense sa senior high. Yeah. Although I have, um, thankfully, no, I have someone to help me out here in the office. But of course, dilip mo put sa tanang panahon. No, naman put sa klase. So, mayo gus gus struggle ko on dividing my time. Plus gus kuila put ko karon so mayo ko anajud ko na burn out. So, pasensya kayo if na yung mga delay, madelay ko og hatag sa criteria o sahay, madelay ko update sa Google Classroom, or madelay ko og upload sa video. Ano na, kamusta na ka ito kong video? Pudsa. Kaya, I'm really, all of my energy is either sa kong pagskwila o dito sa kong senior high. Kaya, mo pre-oral defense, mong good sila. No, niya. We are understaffed as of the moment. No, kaya, you really need panelist as well. So, may lang ko pasensya ninyo in case nga wala pala gito ka-update si ma'am sa Google Classroom no mga ayun na may criteria um, if I have the energy today no kaya I need to also go out mamalit ko um, materials for the pre-oral defense like folders and one paper um, if ma-carry sa time 
I'll try to upload an itinerary. Pasensya if picture na gudok kong ma-upload, no? Dili ko kahi mo na sa table. Kay, mula gina, uh, kulang siya kay kong time. <laughs> so, mula siya na siya. So, I do hope you understand. Mga na, akong gina-delay ang exam kay, supposedly, karun nga week among pre-oral defense, no? Yan, na may mag-workshop 18 and 19. Napong kay output sa mo ang klase sa prof ed. So, matransfer siya sa nasa mga 24, 25. Kay oral defense senior high, na move na po sa 22 to 23. Very, very busy jo kayo ko ron. No, yeah. So, I, I feel guilty because instead nga nga marag program head ang ako, ang, di na ko ka-feel nga marag na program head ko sa inyo, hano, kayo, mas na-focus na ko more on sa senior high. No? Maroon nung kong full-time teacher dito, kaysa diri. So, muna siya. Hatag lang siya daan o heads up ninyo no, eh, case nga, na yung mga times nga, mabian-bian na dyan tamo, din na tamo ma-update. Hopefully, ma- ma-adjust na nina ko, inig ka. Kaya this is my last semester na sa pag-squila po, and hopefully, makauman ko sa MA. Hopefully, maka-focus na ko ninyo sa first semester, when you become third year, and some of you will will be in the fourth year na. Okay? So, guys, again, no, one thing I do not like is ma-waste ang time, kay time is really precious. So, please, no next time, do not be late. Kay, after this, na, naghan po kong errands po. So, I do hope. Uh, nga, dilit na tayo magpalit. Kay, sayang ka ayong oras. Marunong akong ginaapas. Okay ra, ang atong arrangement sa exam. Any comments with regards to to our exam class? Hello? Okay. Hindi mo mo ganoon na nga magtuon pa ko, maoblay pa ko ko ana pa yung 2 hours nga time limit si ma'am. Ay lang mo ka stress ana. So, maghimo na lang mo og itinerary. Anyway, this is for you para makat on jud mo. You'll make an itinerary using Travify. And then um you will also need to to pass your tour guiding video. So, for macro perspective, ha, your itinerary using Travify that will be submitted on April, uh, on March 27. Two days na siya and one night ng itinerary in Los Angeles. So, I will just upload the instructions today in the Google Classroom. So, any day, if nakahuman na mo sa inyong koan exam, basta makapasa mo sa 27. Anyway, di mo magparis-parihas, no? Kaya kamuman siya maghimuan na. That will be your exam na lang. And then for Tour guiding, your tour guiding video will serve both as your output and exam. So, please submit the video on or before 25, March 25, 11.59 p.m. na po, no? Before midnight. Maroon siya na yung exam for macro perspective and tour guiding. Puro sa na output tanan, performance task tanan yung exam. Okay. For Abella, if you have problems with your internet, um, again, you can ask permission from me. You can use the computer lab here in in school. Open naman na siya. No, kay some of my research advices in senior high, gagamit man sila sa computer lab. So, if ever nga you would like to use the computer lab to make your itinerary in Travify, because that is my requirement for the exam, you can. No, pananghid lang na ako daan para ma- Maka-anante ka. Maka-accommodate. Okay? So, thank you so much everyone for attending today's class. We do not have an, a class on the 18th. There is no online class. Sa inyo ha, kay tungod, I think it's the schedule of the exam for college. For the senior high, we don't have any class because workshop na sa payak, I think. No? So, thank you so much everyone for listening. See you next week. Hopefully. Wala ko yung klase ninyo. Sa koan klase ha? Wala tayo yung klase. Wala tayo yung klase sa 23. Kay Oral Defense sa Senior High. That is Tuesday. Sa 25, din ako magklase para makafocus mo sa inyong tour guiding. Pasensya ka ayun, no? Um, Marjo na yung time na delete ko kaklase ninyo next week. Kay BC Joe kayo ko. And siguro after that, I need to also rest po no, on the 25th. Yeah, sa 25th time mar- maron ng time makarest ko mula po ng time nga maka-edit mo sa inyong power uh, uh, sa inyong tour guiding video so just make use of the time okay so thank you so much everyone for listening 
Um, before we will end, let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, goodbye everyone. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.